Hello everybody, Will here, and welcome to the Amnesia Collection. I bought this recently for the Nintendo Switch, and I'm really excited. I know Amnesia has been around for a very long time. It was popularized by PewDiePie uh, in the early, you know, later 2000s, early 2010s. Uh, so I'm really excited to give it a shot myself. Now I've never played the Amnesia games. I haven't seen a, a lot of gameplay on them, so this is going to be a fairly new experience to me, and. Uh, Let's go to give it a try. So we have three titles here. We have The Dark Descent, Justine, and A Machine for Pigs. We're going to go ahead and do the first one, which is The Dark Descent. By the way, guys, if you like my content, and if you enjoy my commentary, drop a like and a subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. It helps me. It helps you. And it just makes everybody's day go a lot better. <laughs> everybody's a lot happier, hopefully watching my stuff. I mean, I certainly enjoy making it. Nordic Game Program. I just love that word, Nord. Uh, not only because of its implications due to the Skyrim popularizing the Nord term. Uh, it's kind of like a Viking. Well, anyways, welcome to Amnesia, the Dark Descent. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. Tell me about it. Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and history. Oh, I plan to. Do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. <laughs> That's always good. When you want to leave the game, just choose Save and Exit. You can then use Continue to return to where you left off next time you start up the game. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits. Hide or even run if necessary. Okay. Uh, the interplay between light and dark is very important to the game, and because of this, it is vital to set up the gamma correctly. Use the slider control below to do so. Adjust it until the square at the right is barely visible. Now, we all know YouTube's uh, dark factor is completely horrible. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter if you set the gamma all the way to like its highest setting. Sometimes YouTube's, just the way you view videos on YouTube, seem darker than normal. I'm still going to go and set the, the gamma to like maximum gamma here, just so you guys can see everything, uh, even in the darkest setting. That is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself in the world of Amnesia. Frictional games. Well, thank you guys. Thanks for releasing such a successful and element-changing uh, horror game series. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, there's normal and hard mode. We're going to go and just do normal because it's my first time. Alright, let's get this started. I don't know what that is. Uh, those look like letters, Roman letters, Romanish, Viking, Nordic letters. I don't know. Don't forget, some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Okay. My name is... Is... I am Daniel. Am I suffering from amnesia? Is that where the game gets its name? What just happened? Did I fall? Did I collapse? What just happened? I'm confused! I have questions! Is that blood? It kinda looks like some of the potion juice from the second Shrek movie. You know? Godmother's Potion Factory. <laughs> it kinda looks like some of that potion juice. Alright, okay, so I don't know what this stuff is. Uh, a memento has been added to the journal. Push X. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Notes, diaries, and mementos. Uh, follow the liquid trail and find its source. We can do that. That doesn't seem too challenging. Uh, but for the sake of exploring, let's check this out. This doesn't really look like it goes anywhere or does anything. So we're going to go to continue following the trail of liquid. Whatever this is. Is this blood? Does it specify what this liquid is and how it got all over the floor of this, what appears to be a castle? 
armor sets over there. That looks quite nice. What's in here? Got some boulders. Got some big old boulders. Donkey would have a heyday in here. Okay, we're gonna walk past these suits of armor. Whoa, we're already fading in and out. We're getting dizzy. Whoa. Man, the field of view is it's intense. I mean, it looks nice, you know? It definitely immerses you, which is... What just happened? <laughs> Was that steam? Um, it, it definitely immerses you, which is quite a nice feeling for a horror game. Oh, that's how you crouch. Whoa! Okay, I'm getting used to the controls, and uh, the right trigger is how you interact with items in the environment. Um, so let's check some things out. Hold down and move the right stick in order to move the door. Okay, uh, what is this? Picked up tinder box. Am I gonna be lighting fires? What is that gonna be good for? Uh, let's check this out. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way, but we are gonna check this out. Actually, I wanna try doing the door thing. Okay, or, well, I don't know. We'll figure it out at some point. We'll figure it out as we play. It's a nice cozy campfire, though. This is quite nice. Uh, it looks beautiful, actually. I'm hoping wherever I live here in a few years, I have a cozy fireplace. Tinder boxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. The current number of tinder boxes is shown in inventory. Whoa, what are those on the left? Is that a heart? Is that my brain? Um... Sanity, crystal clear, health, all is good. Okay. Well, that's that's neat. I'm liking this so far. I can see how uh, why this game was so popular, and it still continues. I mean, it, it bred a few sequels, so it's definitely a successful horror game. Um, I know at some point there's these uh, disgusting creatures with really messed up mouths. Um... I'm, I'm wondering if those are uh, something created by Daniel out of insanity. Oh, oh my god, I, <laughs> I took out the knight's head. Oh man, when holding an object, press L to throw it. Oh my god. Guys, this is, uh, this is probably one of the best elements of this game. This is probably used to distract some of the hideous creatures in this castle, but just the, check this out. Kobe. Oh, I missed. But that's okay. I love that mechanic. That's great. I'm wondering if these creatures are uh, created because of Daniel's potential insanity. But then again, they could be real. Who's to say they're not real? I mean, this place is... It's a little medieval. I mean, it looks like a, a medieval castle. And what just happened? Did I have some kind of attack? What just happened? Am I okay? Am I alright? I'm gonna guess that I'm alright. <laughs> I wonder what's going on with Daniel though. Am I Daniel? My name is Daniel, that's what he was saying earlier, right? What's in here? This is a little dark. Uh, ooh, here's some more uh, uh, tinder boxes? Yes, okay. I'm just gonna go take this, and we're gonna shoot that. Yeah, <laughs> that's so much fun. What is this? Uh, you can open these up. Is there anything in there, though? Can I jump? Oh, I can't. Oh, oh, I can totally jump. Okay, that's how you crouch. Can I hide in here? Can I? <laughs> can I hide in here? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm trying to jump, but the stuff won't. The doors won't move out of the way. That's okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm liking this. I'm really enjoying this so far. Whoa, what's happening? Where, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. Okay, so I guess uh, let's see if we can light those candles right over here. Let's give this a trial run. Oh, you can. Okay. So that'll keep my sanity at a good level. That's nice to know. 
This looks like a really fancy wardrobe. Let's check it out. It's a nice shirt. Kind of looks like a shirt Austin Powers would wear. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. We're still following this uh, odd-looking liquid. I'm still wondering what it is. This kind of looks like the monster I had last night. It's one of those juice monsters. Old archives. Okay. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London. Seemed appropriate somehow. That's a nice uh, sketch of a rose. I do, uh, I do think drawings like that are quite nice. Okay. Well, we're continuing on our quest. Can we take one of these uh, torches? No, we can't. Okay. I was kind of hoping we could. It kind of looks like the model from Skyrim. Almost. I'm not going to question it too much. We just got to go along with it. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. That's really nice. I, I do think already, you know, for being a game that's over a decade old, uh, this already is, I mean, it, it must have been so much fun to play when it first came out. Am I losing my sanity right now? What's going on? Completing puzzles. Can I complete anything right here? What are these? Are these worms? I was looking at the worms, reducing my sanity. What just happened? Or am I in a dark place? Okay. Let's just go and stand under this water right here. <laughs> Take a little shower. Maybe that's all we need to increase our sanity. Stay clean. Oh, you can run. Okay. Maybe I missed that. You can run. I'm pretty sure it was going to tell me at some point that you can run, but... Oh my god, what if we just look away? Does it affect us? Nope, okay, it kind of forced us to look anyways. What is this? Can I pick this up? Uh, you have picked up the lantern when filled with oil. It can be turned on by pressing Y or selecting it in the inventory. Does it have any oil? The lantern will light up dark places. Okay. I can see how that's going to be really useful in this game. I can't seem to open this. Chests. Okay, well that's fine. I'm sure at some point we'll figure out some way to open it. Probably some really, really awesome goodies in there. But we do want to go through there, so I'm going to equip the lantern. Okay, the lantern's on. Now let's go check this out. Look at them boulders. It's nice. Whoa! Okay, I thought I saw something. This is nice. Oh, I crouched. <laughs> I did. Oh, it opens up. Okay, I was pushing and it was pull. Silly me. Do I need the lantern anymore? I put it away. What is this? Oh, there we go. Can I read this? I can't read that. All right. Uh, here's a nice little uh, furnace. I can open the furnace. Can I put anything in there? I wonder if that serves a purpose. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't really know anything about this game. I just know it was a really popular horror game a decade ago. It still is. Uh, picked up oil. The lantern drains oil when it is turned on. To add more oil to the lantern, press A over the oil item in the inventory. Uh, okay. All right. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Okay, so my sanity has taken a hit. I could take this. I could take the. Oh! You can pick it up! Oh, that's so nice! Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here! <laughs> Alright. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. Oh, okay, this guy's talking. There be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the Who's Alexander? Find Did he Alexander betray me or something? And kill him. His body <sighs> is old and weak, and yours 
young and strong. He will be no match for you. Oh my god, am I One supposed to kill an old man? Thing. That's fucked up. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Okay. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Wow, this game is a complete mindfuck. I'm Daniel. I just read a letter from myself, Daniel. And I'm supposed to kill this guy named Alexander? Did he do me wrong? And what's that shadow he was talking about? Is that that creature? Uh, the weird, disgusting mouth? Uh, man. Okay. I guess we gonna find out. So I gotta find Alexander. How do we do that? Go into the darkest place and find Alexander and kill him. But... Who is Alexander? And, and why do why do I have to why why am I telling myself to kill Alexander? I have questions that demand answers. I can't. Uh, this is dark. Equip the lantern. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. His torches uh, seem to be out. I'm guessing I go back this way. Maybe I missed something back here. I can't open that. Okay. That's fine by me. I'm gonna go back here. Maybe I missed something. No. Okay. Alright, well that's cool. Uh, let's go over yonder. This is where we were. But I can't go this way. So, wait a second. Did I... Uh, we are already lost. I am wasting my lantern. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Was there another door in here, maybe? Did I miss something? You see, there's no other door in here. What are these? Oh, I can't, I don't know what these are, but I can pick them up. Oh, there's a lever! Okay. Got it. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh, shit. I discovered something. Well, that's cool. Uh, hold down ZR and move the right stick in the direction you want. Okay. So it's really dark in there. A slight headache. There's no oil left in the lantern. You need it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, little worm things. What are these? Oh, they're like little hissing cockroaches or something. They look disgusting. You guys are nasty. Go back home. Entrance hall. Alright. Uh, the other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock? What is that supposed to mean? Alright. So, I'm... Can I... Like, just save and exit? Okay, I can. I'm probably going to stop this part here, guys. I'm really excited to get this uh, Let's Play series going. I've been wanting to play Amnesia for a very long time, and I'm happy to finally be able to do so. So if you guys are enjoying my content, if you enjoy my commentary, drop a like and a subscribe. I will see you guys in the next part, but until then, have a wonderful day.